Welcome to our Make a Splash pop-up card tutorial. I'm Shari Philomahale here at the Graphic 45 headquarters. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to create these dimensional cards. So we'll create these fun frames on the front and then on the inside, you'll see we've got these delightful pop-ups and this great little beach inking technique here. We're also going to be decorating those envelopes using that same inking technique, giving you a really nice cohesive uh, card set. So you can see these that I'm showing you right now are going to be the ones that I teach you how to create in this tutorial. And then with those leftovers, I'll show you what you need to create the other three. All of these cards have been created for us by Carla Lavera and you will learn so many great techniques this month um, from inking. Uh, we're also going to be doing some pop-ups both in the inside and the outside and so many great ways to use up your Graphic 45 products to their fullest. The Volume 6 card kit includes our lovely Lilac Hybrid Ink Pad. The subscribers are also going to get these Make a Splash buttons. Those are nice collector's editions our brand new ivory a2 card sets these come with um, without any score lines so when we're scoring these up you can be as creative as you'd like and uh, you really get to make your own card base you're also going to get the make a splash ephemera assortments you get 42 die cut pieces in there that are double sided our 8x8 make a splash paper pack you get 24 double-sided sheets in here. You get three of each. And look at all those vibrant colors and fun images. And then of course, the project sheet with step-by-step -step directions and a Graphic 45 bag to store it all in. You can pick up these kits by heading down to your local Graphic 45 retailer or to our website, g45papers.com. Of course, you can always use what you've got in your stash at home as well and learn all these great paper crafting techniques. Let's get started on making these pop-up cards. So Graphic 45 has these new card bases. We have them in a few different sizes and colors. Today we're going to be using the A2 ivory cards and you can see they come with six nice 100 pound cardstock pieces and then envelopes. And then you can also see that these do not come uh, with a score line so that way we can be a little more adventurous and um, try out new fun folds, 3D cards, gate folds, and all of that without having a predetermined score line. So I'll be using these handy dandy instructions. They come in the card kits, but you can also find it on our website at g45papers.com. Just go up to that inspiration tab and down to project sheets, and that's where you'll find um, a whole list of those project sheets. So for this tutorial, we're actually just going to be going right down the center. So I've got it on the eight and a half side and I'm going to score at four and a quarter, making this a nice A2. Go ahead and crease on that score line. And we'll do the same with all six. So we're going to do some fun inking. I'm going to take um, my uh, collection pack cover and I'm just going to um, tear this up a little bit on the bottom adding some nice waves so I'm gonna go up and then down up and down so you can do it like this you can also take a piece of cardstock and do it more like this where you have a nice wave system so you can see this one here needs to be up a little bit higher you can just fix it and tell it how you like it so I'm gonna go with this one that has a nice wave pattern so I'm gonna create four cards with this inking technique on the inside left so I'm gonna do those first so I have my card open. Now I'm just going to put my right panel to the back. So I've got my inside left facing me. So now I've got just um, a little foam sponge applicator. You can use a makeup wedge or um, anything that you've got in your crafting kit. And then we're using that lovely lilac ink that comes in 
your card kit this month. And we're just going to start to ink up our waves on our bottom. So I've got my first layer. Now I'm just going to kind of shift this around so it's not the same and continue with a second layer. And then we'll add a third layer. So you can see now we have some fun purple waves on the bottom of our card base on the inside. So I'll just repeat that step on the next four. Then we're going to take our envelopes and do the same here. So you can do this on all six envelopes. So I'm just doing it on the front where I'll write my address. It's fun to repeat steps like this on the front as well as the, or on the envelopes as well as in the card. So it has that nice cohesive look and you kind of have an idea of what's going to be on the inside knowing it's going to be something good. For the remaining three card bases, we are going to do the wave technique on the inside bottom of the card. So these are going to open up and be horizontal cards. So just like we did before, but this time on the bottom inside. And then since of course we have this ink pad out, you can go ahead and ink the edges of your card bases as well. Card one, we've got one of these card bases and we're going to shut that. So our waves are on the inside left panel. And then we've taken a piece of Shellabrate and we've cut this piece to be four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And it's just gonna go right on the front of our card. Next, we've taken our Ocean Dance paper that's been cut to three inches by four inches. And this is going to adhere on the front center, making sure it's at least a half of an inch down from the top. So we have cut a piece of Make a Splash, the B side, to be three and a half by four and a half inches. And now we're gonna make a frame out of this. So I've got it on my 12 inch mark and I started it at 11 and a half and I took it up to the nine inch mark. Now I'm going to rotate and just trim a half an inch all the way around in the center. So there you have it. We can pop out our center frame. And now I have this lovely frame. And then this piece we'll use on step seven. Add your foam adhesive. I've just added it in a U shape. That way, if you want to slide something in up the top, you can do that but you do not have to. From your ephemera assortment pack, we are going to grab these three pieces. Now, if you wanna use this as a frame, I would adhere your make a wish on a starfish like we have done here. And then these other two pieces, you could either omit altogether, or you could just put your mermaid up on top here and have your photo underneath there or just have your clock with your photo underneath there. But if you're doing it like we're doing it where we are not adding a photo in this frame, we're gonna add our adhesive to the back. I'm gonna kind of make her pop so her hand is on the outside of the frame as well as her tail. Actually, I'm gonna pull this clock in first and her head is gonna go over top of the clock. So now we're going to open up this cute card and add our seahorse to our waves, like so. And then we're going to take the B side of Shellabrate that's been cut to three and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And if you want to add a little extra embellishment, you can always take a circle punch. Like this one, I have a one inch punch and just notch out your corners. Just trying to get those as even as you can. Of course, the step is optional and you can leave that if you'd like. Just adds a nice little bit of elegance. 
here's down to our base. So next we're going to take this Wish Upon a Starfish paper that's been cut to 5 and 3 eighths and we are going to score this three times. The first at 5 eighths of an inch, 4 and 1 eighth, and 4 and 3 quarters. Fold in this shape, add adhesive to these tabs here and our 5 eighths of an inch tab is going to go right next to our fold line on our left hand side on the inside of our card base and then this will just be straight across from there and then when you close it you should not have anything showing and then open and you've got a nice little pop-up dimension and then this leftover bit from our frame that we cut we are going to add it onto our little uh, border band there. So I've added adhesive about a half inch from the top, about an inch wide, and then I'm going to adhere this about a quarter of an inch from the left of my border strip. And then here we've got our Make a Splash cut apart. So you could do either side, whichever you prefer. And then this will adhere down. You want to make sure your got your bend here and you're not obstructing that and then as well that you're not going off the top of your card so everything stays in and voila you've created a gorgeous dimensional pop-up card so there you have it we have finished up these gorgeous cards and then to decorate that envelope we just added this fun make a splash cut apart and use the same uh, nice sheet celebrate a uh, paper on our envelope tab card two our step one of card two we're going to take fantasy cove and cut it to be four and one eighth by five and three eighths and then we've got ocean dance that's been cut to three inches by four inches adhere to the front of the card making sure your waves are right side up on the inside Adhere this piece a half of an inch from the top and sides. We have cut this piece of Ocean Dance to be three and a half by four and a quarter. And then again, we've cut out the frame on the inside, saving our piece for later. Pop it up with some foam adhesives and adhere down. The first thing we want to adhere is our Born to be a Mermaid. It's going to be on the frame as well as inside. Then I've added these two shells. You can see a little bit of my foam adhesive sticking out on the top and I'm just going to add another embellishment up there to hide that error. So there you have it, the outside. Step four, we've adhered our little fish to the inside of our waves and then we've cut this piece of Fantasy Cove to three and seven eighths by five and a quarter and then trimmed out our corners for that nice regal look. Adhere this to the center. And then step for step five, we've got a wish upon our starfish paper that's been cut to five and three eighths. And then again, we are going to score this at five eighths of an inch, four and an eighth, and four and three quarters. Add adhesive onto those folded back tabs like we did in step one. And center this with the left hand fold on the left hand side, making sure you're clearing that score line and then go ahead and open and fold, making sure nothing hangs out and everything looks nice and beautiful. From our cut parts, we've cut out this Born to be a Mermaid. Of course, you can use either side. This site's great for uh, if you wanna write a sentiment, but you could always write a sentiment over here. And then we've got our leftover piece from our frame. So I just grabbed onto where I know I want my frame to be off the top and leave about a quarter of an inch from the left. Making sure nothing's adhering where it shouldn't be. And now we can adhere this cutie down. beautiful. 
So now that we have finished our card number two, you can see how we've decorated up our envelope with some leftover cut up hearts and that gorgeous mermaid paper. Card three. So for card three, we're working with one of our horizontal card bases. And then we're gonna take our Born to be a Mermaid paper that's been cut to five and three eighths by four and an eighth. And then another piece of Ocean Dance that's been cut to four by three inches. Adhere those two pieces down. From our Seize the Day B side, we've cut this piece to be four and a half by three and a half. And then we've cut out our frame with the larger bottom side um, on our bottom. And then this is going to adhere right on top, adding some nice dimension. From our ephemera piece, we're gonna grab this purple seashell frame and adhere it right on top, leaving some blue on the bottom. Next, adhere your mermaid down. Add your adhesive to your banner. I left my top unadhered because that's gonna be floating off my little frame here. And if you want to add a little extra dimension, you can just pinch a little bit towards each other. That way your banner is going to pop up just a little bit more. And then just add this little starfish. Open up your card and then we're going to add this Born to be a Mermaid paper that's been cut to five and a quarter by three and seven eighths of an inch. And this is gonna go into our top section here, leaving our waves uh, as is. Then grab your little ephemera fishy, and this is gonna go in your bottom left corner, swimming in those purple waves. We've got our uh, wish upon a starfish border and again we are going to score at those same lines five and or five eighths of an inch four and one eighth and four and three quarters fold and add adhesive on those tabs and this time we're going to put our single tab in the center here just underneath our score line and then this is going to straighten out like so, and then it'll pop up once it's folded open. Making sure everything stays inside once it's all closed. Beautiful. This is our leftover bit from before. So we'll adhere this just love using up those all those bits and pieces in a gorgeous way. Take this cut apart here, and it's been trimmed out to be um, two and three quarters by two and seven eighths of an inch. And of course, with our journaling side up, add your adhesive, and now you have another fun pop-up. So we have finished our card number three, this dimensional mermaid beauty. So cute. We can't wait to hear what you're gonna be using these cards for. We think these would be a fun graduation card, birthday, um, even just a little note to say hello during the summer with some fun summer uh, updates. Let us know in the comments below. Now with those leftovers, here's what else you can make. So our additional card number one here is what you can create. So in the background, we have Born to be a Mermaid. We've got Make a Splash as our frame, as well as the inside of our frame. Some great little ephemera pieces. And then on the inside, we have Born to be a Mermaid again, and a fun cut apart from the world. The world is your oyster, and our leftover frame bit. Of course, with our added on bits and pieces on our envelope from Born to uh, the World is Your Oyster and some Purple Mermaid. Our additional card number two is all about Fantasy Cove, which we have in the background here with this um, inside frame from our signature page, Make a Splash. The Ocean Dance is our frame with a great ephemera piece. 
the inside we've got the fantasy cove again our leftover from our frame and a cut apart from the world is your oyster our add-on card number three look at this gorgeous horizontal beauty we've got our ocean dance in the background for our frame we've got seize the day and this is from the signature page again some ephemera pieces and then on the inside we've got the b-side from wish upon a starfish and some more great ephemera and cut apart pieces we hope that you've enjoyed creating all of these cards with us and we'd love to see your projects so go ahead share your work with us on our instagram page using that graphic 45 hashtag and if you're looking for more fabulous tutorials like this one go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel and then hit that notification bell so you know every time we upload a new project we thank you so much for joining us and as always happy paper crafting